Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the Retro Cup in the Great League. And uh, let's see what team we're running here today. We're running the uh, Shadow Ninetales here with the Shadow Dragonite and Dragoner in the back. So triple Shadow team here. We have the uh, Shadow Ninetales versus this Lickitung. This Lickitung is going to be able to get off its move first. Going to be the body stand most likely. We're going to decide to let it go. We do survive it. And then we're going to immediately switch out into the Dragonair. This Dragonair is going to try to get to a body stem right there. But unfortunately, they get to their own body stem first. We decide to let it go. And let's see what our opponent ends up switching into the Hypno. So Hypno here is going to have to take a move. We're going to go for this uh, body stem right here. We're going to try to get to two moves here. Go for this body stem first. And then we're going to try to get to another move. And unfortunately, we do not. We get absolutely farmed down. Uh... We're going to come back in here with the Ninetales most likely, and we'll see what we're going to do from there. So far, they've revealed that they have the um, Hypno, and they have the Lickitung, so that core makes sense. Okay, and we're going to have to decide if we want to shield here or let it go. We decided to let it go because we want to be able to farm down with something, and we do get the farm down with our Shadow Ninetales here. Expecting the Lickitung to come back in. Let's see what they end up bringing back in here. They do bring in the Lickitung, and then we immediately switch out into our Shadow Dragonite. We get faced with the Orangaru here. So we have to throw these moves on optimal timing. We're going to throw this Dragon Claw here. We do get a shield, and our opponent is chunking away at our health here. Looks like this is running the Confusion as well. We're going to have to uh, shield this, and ends up being the Trailblaze. So Trailblaze, not as effective, but does increase their attack. We're going to have to get to another um, Dragon Claw here. We do get the shield and we're going to try our best to get to another one. Unfortunately, that does not happen. So this is looking like it's a GG's. We're going to we're going to get this um, Weather Ball off here just to uh, chip it away. But we know that they still have a Pokemon in the back. They're waiting for us. So GG's to our opponent. Unable to come back from that um, normal double Psychic team here in the back. They're running double Psychic. We're running double Dragons. We have the... Uh, nine tails protecting the two dragons so far has not worked but we're gonna see if we can wiggle out of certain situations so here we go we're gonna have the um slow bro here this slow bro does have the poison and psychic so we potentially could get to a scorching sand here so we're gonna shield ends up being the surf so this is a community day uh slow bro our opponent ends up switching out into the Jellicent. Jellicent here is going to be able to throw a uh, potential Shadow Ball or Surf. We're going to decide to let this go. Ends up being the uh, Shadow Ball and we do survive it so good decision by us letting it go and we're going to be able to throw this Aquatail here. The Aquatail chips it away to potentially get it in range of a Scorching Sand with our Ninetales. So we're going to go here and we're going to throw this Scorching Sand after one fast move. The Scorching Sand potentially could take it out. Not sure yet. Let's see if they end up shielding. No shield. We do take it out, which is great. And now we have to face this um, Slow Bro here. We're going to throw this Weather Ball as soon as we have it. And let's see if they end up shielding or they're just going to decide to let it go. They decide to shield, which is interesting. And now we know that they have another Surf. At this point, we're going to shield here. And we're going to try to... Um, okay, at this point, we're going to try to farm them down. We do farm them down, and they do have another Psychic in the back. This time, it is going to be the Hypno. Hypno here is chunking away with their fast moves. We're going to throw this Dragon Claw here on optimal timing. We do get that last shield, and then we're going to try to get to another Dragon Claw before they farm us down. Does this Dragon Claw KO this Hypno? Because they definitely have a move already. Moment of truth, and it does. Shadow Hypno goes down to our Shadow Dragon Knight. Both of us... We're trying to um, leave a move on their last Pokemon because um, we recognize that's the win con. So GG's to our opponent right there, able to wiggle out of that situation. Next game, let's see what we find. Shadow Ninetales versus the Cresselia. Okay, this is pretty good for us. They switch out into the Dugong. So Dugong here, really good against our dragons in the back. So obviously we do not want to switch out. So we stay in here, we're going to throw this Weather Ball, and it will at least do neutral damage. Our opponent ends up shielding. We're going to have to de de decide whether we want to shield this or not. They do have the Drill Run or Icy Wind, so they go for the Drill Run. 
We're going to shield it. And we're going to throw this um, weather ball next here. Right before they get to another move. This shadow weather ball chunks it away. Doesn't KO. And now we are left with the decision. Do we shield here or do we let it go? We're going to decide to let it go. We do survive. And because the dugong is running ice moves, we are resisting it. And we are able to get to another weather ball here. Forcing them to make a decision. Do they shield or do they let it go? They decide to let it go. And now we have two dragons for their psychic type. We're going to immediately switch into our Dragonair. Ends up being the um, Artifax in the back here. We're going to decide to throw this uh, body stem here to either get a shield or do some good damage. Our opponent ends up shielding. And it looks like our opponent is going to try to farm us down. They do go for the farm down. We have a decision to make here. Do we try to go in with the Dragonair or Dragon Knight immediately or... So we try to go in with our nine tails. We decide to go in the dragon knight. We do get the farm down. So that's really good for us. And our opponent here does have the Cresselia. This Cresselia does potentially no moon blast or some other move. They charge up to a potential moon blast. We do gonna shield here. Ends up being the grass knot bait. Good for them. And now we know that we can um, at least get to two dragon claws. And we are gonna try to uh, get to two dragon claws. One dragon claw goes through, does it huge chunk of damage and then we are able to get to another dragon claw right before they get to a potential moon blast so this is wolf ko and that is ggs right there great league Cresselia not able to outpace the uh great league shadow dragon knight right there so next game here let's see if we can continue the success right here um nine tails does do a good job of protecting against ice types um as you can tell so Let's see, we got the, ooh, Shadow Gyarados. Not great for our entire team here. We're gonna immediately switch out just to see if they have anything for this dragon. They decide to stay in. Um, according, we're gonna let the, we're gonna actually shield here to try to get to a move. We do get to one move once they switch out. Ends up being a Dragonair, so they do have dragons in the back. We do get a shield, which is great, and now we have a decision. Do we go in with our Nine Tails here? Or do we go in with our Dragon Knight? We're going to go in with our Dragon Knight here to try to take him out. Our opponent is going to try to... Oh, unfortunately, we faint on a move, which is going to uh, create huge problems for our entire game here. Um, we're going to have to shield here because they potentially know Aquatel, and they can just come back in with their Gyarados here. Gyarados core breaks our entire team. And with no shields, this is going to be GG's. So, GG's to our opponent right there. Unable to wiggle out of that situation. Um, unfortunately, that we couldn't get the Dragon Claw off versus that um, Dragonair. But otherwise, we would have had a chance because we would have been able to save that shield. Alright, next game. Let's see if we can end up on a good note. Shadow Ninetales versus this Gligar. This Gligar does have the advantage. So we're going to immediately switch out into the Shadow Dragonair. We get met with a Frostlass. This Frostlass here is doing super effective fast moves with the ice. But our Dragon um, Breath damage is chunking away as well. We do get a shield from our opponent throwing the Aquatel. And our opponent ends up letting us get to another Aquatel here. So this is huge for us. Potentially getting two shields out of this situation. We do get two shields. And they decide to try to farm us down, but they don't realize the power of the Dragon Breath right there. Look at this Dragonair going crazy. We do take out the Frosted. We do get to another Aqua Cell to throw at this Gligar. This Gligar does take a huge Aqua Cell right there. And now we have two shields versus their um, damaged Gligar and whatever's in the back. We're going to go into our Dragonite right here. And they decide that it is GG's because we do have two shields and... We were going to shield that arrow ace anyways. Let's see what they have in the back here. It looks like they decided to leave. Um, they know that they are in big trouble. So Jellison in the back right there. We would have done decent because we would have one shield. And look at this Dragon Breath damage. As you can see, just adding up like crazy. And we're going to be able to farm him down. So GG Star opponent right there. Check out this team if you haven't already. And uh, let us know if you enjoyed the video.